Debbie from thehomeofinteriors.co.uk and this video is going to talk you through the Somfy motorised curtain track options. Um, for product and trend advice and um, hints and tips for home interiors, please subscribe to our channel. Um, the benefits of a motorised curtain track and why they're really popular is they're great for added security. So if you're away a lot um, and you want your, your curtains to open and close at set times, they're brilliant for that. They're um, highly convenient um, and they now offer the home automation integration, um, which I'll talk to you about a little bit later in the video. The Somfy curtain tracks are available up to 10 metres long and we can put more than two bends in them so they do offer slight advantages to other manufacturers on the market. The tracks are available with standard roller gliders um, for, for traditional curtain headings or the wave gliders and we offer both 60mm and 80mm wave gliders on the track. If you aren't familiar with a wave curtain heading, it's a modern curtain heading and um, it gives the look of an eyelet curtain, um, but the curtain goes on a curtain track. Um, but it, the benefits is it gives a really nice slim snap back. So for large floor to ceiling um, sliding doors or bifold doors, and they're really popular. Um, it's a really popular curtain heading um, for that modern interior. If you're not familiar with what a wave curtain is, um, there is a specific video on wave curtains explained. So please um, watch that um, through our channel. We ensure that the curtain tracks are supplied to your requirements um, and that's really important for a wave curtain. So if you order wave curtains through us, we ensure that the number of hook positions on the curtains match the number of curtain hooks that come on your curtains. So they're literally ready to hang um, upon delivery. There's three models of tracks available in the Somfy range. There's the 35 Move Light, um, there's the Irismo 45 and then there's a Glidea Ultra 60. I'll talk to you about the difference between them in a moment, but they all use the same track. Um, so the motors are interchangeable and you can swap them um, you know, if, if you should want to upgrade um, at any stage. Um, so I'll just talk you through the, the tracks. So this track has been set up for a single curtain. So it's got quite a long overlap at the end. And if I just manually take it to the end of the track, um, that's just so that the curtain then reaches the end of the track. If you order the track for a single curtain, you will just get this neat um, sort of housing cover on the end of the track, um, rather than sort of the, the motor um, the housing, at, which is at the other end. If you order the track for a pair of curtains with standard roller gliders, um, the, the track will be supplied with just a slightly shorter overlap arm on it so that the curtains overlap in the middle. But if you, if you order the track for a pair of curtains with a wave heading, um, we will supply the track with these sort of butt um, overlaps. And this just means that the, the wave curtains will butt up to each other um, in the middle. Now, at the moment, it looks like there's quite a big gap, um, but the fabric goes in between on each curtain, plus the curtain hook. So by the time all that's on, um, the curtains just neatly um, butt up to each other um, when, they, when they're drawn. For wave curtains, the track is supplied with two um, hooks that go at the end of the track. Um, so this is the back of the track. So if I just turn it round. So your first glider goes in the, um, the hook on the end, and this is just to make sure that the curtain covers the motor. So the first wave folds round and then it, it attaches to this hook on the back. Um, behind and that just means that the, the wave gets a, you, you get a nice neat wave at the end of the track. For a pair of curtains we do supply the track with um, a motor pulley housing at both ends and that's just to make sure that it looks symmetrical. If you've um, ordered the track for a pair of curtains and wish to change the side um, of the motor that can easily be done. You just take the cover plate off the, off the bottom here move it to the other side, take the metal plate off the motor side, swap it over, and then the motors can, can change sides should, you, should your requirements change um, or you move the track to a different location where the power's on the other side. If you've ordered the track for a single um, curtain, you won't be able to do that because we will supply it just with the, um, sort of the one uh, motor housing option at the one end. The motors can also be fixed pointing upwards into the ceiling. Um, and again, it's just as simply, you take the cover plate off and then you put it on the top of the track and the motor fix is then pointing upwards into the ceiling. And when you order the track on the website, um, you can specify whether you, you want wall or ceiling fixed brackets. Um, we do also sell a ceiling recess profile um, so that this, this track can be fitted flush with the ceiling to really give that hotel chic look at home. 
Um, it, please watch our Blind Space Reese video for more information on the Reese profile. Um, but for wall fixing, um, we have two options. We have a clamp star bracket and a one touch bracket. We would recommend that you order the clamp star bracket if the track's going to be um, exposed and that you can see it. Um, the clamp star brackets just offer a more discreet look than the one touch. The benefits of the one touch is that they are easier to take the track on and off um, should you need to take the track down for any reason. Um, but we would recommend ordering those if they're going if the track's going to sit behind a pelmet um, because you do see a little bit more of the bracket than with the clamp style um, ones. So this is the wall bracket, the clamp style, um, and it's adjustable so you can adjust the distance the track sits away from the wall. And then you get the, um, this is the actual clamp style top fix bracket that just fixes to the wall fix and secures the track into place. So the clamp style brackets um, for top fixing um, go inside the track profile um, and then this little arm, this little metal arm secures the track um, from behind. So from the front you get a lovely flush fit to the ceiling and you don't see any of the fixings um, and then from the back you've just got the tiny little um, arm that secured the track into place. Um, so really nice discrete fixing um, method. We'll talk about home automation um, in a moment, um, but when you order the track, you can order it with a wall switch or a remote control. Um, if you're interested in the automation and you've either already got the Somfy to home, home Hub or you're, you're going to order one, you just need a wall switch or a remote control for the setup of the track and setting the limits. So this is the wall switch. So it comes with a plate that you secure to the wall. Then you secure the, then you push the surround on to it. Okay. And then the, um, the actual um, little walls plate just pushes in into the front. So this is the black one. It's also available in pure white. And then the surrounds are available in white, silver or black. And there's also a bamboo option as well on the website, which is um, sort of a, a, an, an oak effect. So this is the remote control. It's available for a one channel, so just for one track, or for multi-channel. Um, and if you've got any other motorised um, products, Somfy products, um, it can operate those as well. And the Somfy do a lovely range of motorised blinds. Um, so the, the remote control can control the blinds and tracks. If you're interested in integrating with Alexa um, or Google Assist, um, the Tahoma Home Hub is available. Um, this um, enables you to control the tracks um, and any of the software products you've got through an app on your phone and then it offers the, um, the Apple um, and Alexa integration as well. So the tracks um, are categorised into mains powered and then battery. Um, so it's the Move Light 35 and the Glidea Ultra 60 that are the mains powered tracks and then it's the Arismo 45, which is the battery. Let's start with the Arismo 45, the battery operated model. Um, so this has no wiring, um, so it doesn't need any connection. Um, there's a charging point at the bottom. Um, so if you've got um, a socket nearby and can charge it while the track's in situ, that's great. But if not, it simply just twists out um, and then you can just go and charge the, um, charge the unit at a convenient location. Um, it will give you six to nine months power, um, depending on the weight of your curtains. So a charge lasts about six to nine months. So moving on to the Move Light 35, um, the, the numbers after the tracks refer to the maximum weight of the curtains. Um, so 35, this, the Move Light 35, which is the entry model, is suitable for curtains up to 35 kilograms. Now that is actually quite heavy for a curtain. Um, so the reason that you'd really want to consider upgrading to the Glidea Ultra 60 uh, would be for a very long um, span if your curtains are heavy. Um, once you start to put bends in the track, that reduces the weight capacity of the track. We've got all the weight guides on the website, so if you have got any, you know, if you have got a bay window and are considering be a bent track, um, please refer to our website for the maximum weight um, recommendations. The other reason you may wish to upgrade to the Ultra, um, the Glidea Ultra 60, is that um, there's a socket for increased um, connectivity options. So if you've got a home integration system that you want to integrate with, um, the Glidea offers more, um, more flexibility. Um, 
please get in touch if you've got any questions or would like to discuss your project. Um, the phone number is 01590 615 or please email us at sales at thehomeofinteriors.co.uk and one of the team will get back um, and give you a call and just talk through your project um, and what, what um, integration system you've got um, and what, what you need for your requirements. So the Move Light 35 and the Glidea come with 80 centimetres to a metre of cable um, and these are connected through a, a few spur. If you want to put a socket on it, you can just extend the cable, put a connector, an, a cable connector, and then attach a plug. So the Move Light 35 is our best-selling model. Um, the weight is absolutely fine for most domestic um, requirements. Um, so it's only for the other reasons that I mentioned earlier that you might wish to upgrade to the Glidea Ultra 60. So moving on to the Glidea, it is actually a quieter motor as well. It's got two settings on the bottom, um, which is low and high speed. If you, hit it, if you set it at low speed, um, Sophie have claimed that it is silent. It is a quieter motor um, than, the, uh, than the other options. With regards to bay windows, um, there is a made to measure order form on our website, so please download it, um, complete the details and then either upload it with your order or email it to us and we can generate a diagram to show you how the track would be made once you've accounted for the brackets. But please give us a call if you've got any questions or need any advice on how to measure um, and we can give you some advice. So we've set the mains powered motors up, so the, so the Move Light and the Glidea on our website to use the RTS technology which is Radio Technology Somfy. And this just means that the tracks can be operated um, with a wall plate um, or a remote control or through the Tacoma hub um, and sort of quite straightforward. Other control options are available. Um, WT is available, which is wired technology and is switched through mains power. And then there's also DCT, which is dry contact technology. And this is switched through low voltage system switching. If you've got any requirements for the other control options, the WT or the DCT, please get in touch and we can talk you through it. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you've got any questions at all um, with regards to how to measure um, you know, connectivity and um, homey automation integration, and then please do get in touch. And we're here to help and we have got experts within the team who'll be able to give you the advice um, and recommendations. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching.